just for fun, I actually tried climbing this whole thing. Uh, <laughs> it's quite a quite a flight of stairs. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I like to do actually is to fly to the very top of the Saturn V and sit on it, and then turn my draw distance up to 256 meters, and you can see the whole island with all the rockets and everything up there. The best way to get a a feeling for the the scale, the size of this this contraption is to fly vertically next to it as slowly as you can. It it it's it just really is amazing how how big this thing is. And how tall is it in real it's life? It's 111 meters. <laughs> One of the things that I thought was most interesting about this is that uh, when I first saw it, I tried walking up the stairs and realized that I couldn't because I was a little bit too tall. And my gut reaction was to say, well, they didn't build it to scale. And then I realized, no, most avatars in Second Life actually are taller than six feet, or sometimes taller than seven feet. So you get an improper sense of scale, not because the rockets are incorrect, but because the avatars are. Yeah, we built our rockets to spec. We have a little tool or a measuring stick in the middle of the rocket ring that one of our people, uh, Canker Greenacre, made just to show you how far from reality your avatar is. Now, is there anything you can do with the rocket? Uh, look at it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try to sit on it. Unfortunately, this one is just too large to move in Second Life. It's not that easy to move in real life. <laughs> what are the limitations in Second Life as far as moving uh, large objects? I believe you cannot have more than 31 objects linked together, and it can't be more than, I think, 30 meters long or something like that, uh, or 30 meters in the largest dimension. And naturally, this is much larger than that. We've talked about doing staged rocket launches so that we could launch bigger rockets and just script each of the objects individually. We might do that in the future. 